Now we come to another very important, uh, very interesting tool for lean is called the big room approach. So here we look at the introduction to the big room approach, something called the virtual big room meetings and then look at some case studies. So the first part is 13.01, uh, we look at the introduction to big room approach, uh, some requirements for efficient working and then look at also the virtual big room meetings. Japanese term in the uh, wordings, you have something called obeya, that is the big room or great room where you know there is a space where uh, the employees can get into it, a dedicated room and then uh, discuss and uh, come to decisions about uh, any important topic or a very particular specific problem. So, from that lean we have developed this big room approach, wherever you have multiple stakeholders you know uh, getting them to come to a particular decision on a specific point or a problem. One can always you know keep using emails or mail letters and so, or telephone calls and so on. But then you know that involves a lot of going back and forth and convergence takes a lot of time and you also do not get to know the other people properly to, to agree with them or bring them to your point of view. So, if you are able to get them to a single space called a big room in the same room for example, then all the people can interact with each other across, across the room, uh, share their common viewpoints, discuss, convince the others or get convinced and then come to convergence on the issues at hand as quickly as possible, very amicably and having considered viewpoints on all the uh, topics involved. So, here basically uh, informed discussions and uh, logical closures are very important. So, that is the basic uh, requirement that people have to be uh, conducive to come to logical conclusions and agree to the others viewpoints when they are uh, logically correct. The advantage of course is speedy closures on the various issues, otherwise it will be very protracted and then uh, people will still be unhappy that probably their viewpoints have not been duly considered. When you look at the uh, collaborative planning system, the look ahead planning or weekly planning, the big room interaction is a must. That is always the case where you have all the stakeholders coming together and deciding upon the look ahead programs or the weekly programs. And then when you are looking at the lean design kind of concept where you want to close out, where you want to converge on the design formulation, the design basis report for example, you may have uh, civil, mechanical, electrical, foundation people and you know contractual people and, and so on. So, everyone has to come to the same space, discuss, debate and then come to a conclusion as rapidly as possible and everyone should agree to the decisions made in that room because they all had a fair uh, chance of saying what they wanted to say. So, wherever you have multiple stakeholders is a very good point. And today, for example, when you have the COVID kind of problem, we need to have proper physical distancing. Some of the requirements for efficient use of big room is that you should be multidisciplinary. All the concerned people should be there. Otherwise, if some viewpoints are left out, again, there may be back and forth correspondence, which is against the principles of big room convergence. And they should all be in the same space either in the same physical room or they are all on the virtual uh, meeting where they are able to talk to each other, understand each other and so on. The people who come for the meeting should all be empowered people. They should not be people who need to refer back to their superiors or other people in their organizations to come to decisions. They should be able to give decisions on the spot and whatever decisions they give, they should be responsible and accountable for what they do. So, that uh, you know once the decisions are taken in the big room, they are final, they should not have to come back to it again and again and keep revising. Sometimes they may say you know oh I will have to think about it, I will reverse shortly or I will phone my friend and 
check it out like that those things are not allowed in the common understanding for big room interactions the basic idea is that we need to come to a convergence on all the listed agenda points within the span time span allotted and then the decision should be informed decisions amicable decisions and logically relevant concluded decisions and uh, it will be also good to have some efficiency efficiency measurement metrics we can develop our own uh, criteria for such things so how quickly how effectively we have been able to come to a conclusion or closure on the agenda points what have been listed and uh, how efficient was the meeting whether everybody was able to express themselves properly and got their points heard duly that's very important there are number of different ways in which one can do the big room these are some of the examples and uh, today with the covid time for example we go for virtual big room meetings which are actually e meetings online meetings uh, covid times or when you have multiple stakeholders somebody sitting in bombay somebody sitting in chennai delhi and so on we may go for virtual big room then large project sites like the jetty project we looked at earlier where you know people are sitting in different locations they cannot you know travel that much and come to the same physical room so there again we can use a virtual big room also you know you may have daily briefing get togethers maybe the morning or evening there again the online meetings or virtual big rooms will be very few very very good very useful the basic idea as in the other physical uh, big room is you have all the view points considered all the stakeholders are fully in the picture and then again we have informed decision making possible and that too again as quickly as possible but you know the physical room uh, big rooms meetings you can have uh, your own meeting rules which you can adopt on the spot but when you have a virtual big room meeting is good to have a priori uh, proper protocols for the meeting a coordinator who will conduct the meeting uh, properly and then agenda points and so on then it will be optimum for the required uh, viewpoint thank you